Hi everyone, so in my experiment I will be testing the stability and volume of a white foam while using two different acidic ingredients such as orange juice and vinegar. But before I get started, I wanted to talk a little bit more about raw egg whites and how they were able to make foam. So in raw egg whites, they actually contain 90% water and 10% protein. So I kind of drew over here so we have a better idea. This will be the water and this will be the protein. And as we all know, proteins are made of long chains of amino acids, which some are hydrophobic and some are hydrophilic towards water. And in egg whites, they are actually globular protein, which means that the long protein molecules are twisted, folded, and curled up into a ball-like shape as such. When we whip or beat the egg white, the force will break the chemical bonds that hold the chain in its original ball-like form and it allows the chain to uncoil into long strands as such. And if you can imagine, this is the air bubbles. Because some parts of the proteins like water and some parts don't, this causes the protein to realign itself and form air bubbles, where the hydrophobic side will be more towards the air and the hydrophilic side will be more towards the water. So I drew it right here, but kind of enlarged it right here so we have a better idea of what's going on this will be the protein strand when it's still coiled up and then if you can see this is the hydrophobic side of the amino acids the, the side chains and this is the hydrophilic sign and this will be the water around it this is when it's been denatured and this is when we whip or beat our eggs and this is the air bubble this is the protein chain where it realigns itself and as you can see, the hydrophobic side is within the air bubble, and the hydrophilic side is within the water. And then these, the whole whipping, when it becomes a foam, this is like a network of all the air bubbles. And it's also called binding or coagulation, but this is essentially how foam is made through egg whites. And in my experiment, I also used room, temp room temperature egg eggs because... I searched that the room tip eggs make better foam, so I want to to just make the best foam as I can in my experiment. So this is room temperature and it's also in Fahrenheit. And over here I had already separated the egg whites into the bowl, so I will have three. This will be my control, this will contain the orange juice, and this will contain the vinegar. I also measured each one, which is 32 grams for this one, 33 grams. And 33 grams as well and I'm going to be using a spoon to spoon it out to make sure it's equal ingredients and I'll be using my whipping machine my hand whip to whip it all up and I'm going to see how it all turns out now before I get started on my experiment I also wanted to point out that when making egg white foam there are different properties that also play an important role in stabilizing egg white foam some properties include adding stabilizing ingredients such as acid sugar or even a pinch of salt other F factors include the temperature of the egg, the whipping method, and even the age of the egg. So fun fact, fresh eggs are actually more acidic than older eggs. So in my control egg, I'm not necessarily saying that there is no acid whatsoever. I'm just saying that I will not be adding any acid ingredient to it because I just want to see how the egg white would naturally foam up. And in my experiment, I also wanted to focus more on acid as my stabilizing agent and how different levels of acid could affect the egg white foam. Acid can help in the egg denaturation process by breaking apart the bonds and uncoiling the protein strand much faster. And acid also helps slow down the coagulation process, which is important because it literally gives the egg white more time to form more air bubbles. Acid also helps the egg white achieve their full volume potential and stabilizes them by holding onto the water and air bubbles more tightly. So this is why acid is a good stabilizing agent and why I wanted to test it. So um, I'm going to proceed right now with the uh, whipping and we're going to see the results. So this is my eggs that have been whipped. I whipped them up for five minutes. I did three minutes on low medium setting and I did two minutes on high medium setting. And I try to whip them up so they're like soft peaks. 
as you can tell by the little pointy ends. And I don't know if you can see, I'm trying to get a better look. The vinegar produced the most volume of foam, which is to be expected. I mean, the control was to be expected to have the lowest amount of volume because it had no acid. And acid actually helps create the foam and make it more stable and help produce more air bubbles. So this is the lowest. Orange juice is not as acidic as vinegar, which is why I knew it was going to make bubbles, um, but probably um, not as much as the vinegar. So, and it came out pretty as expected. This is like the least amount, this is the medium amount, and this is the most. And as you can tell, it's so pretty. When I was actually whipping this up too, I noticed that the vinegar produced the bubbles relatively fast, like much faster than these other two. This produced bubbles a lot more faster, a lot more quicker, and, and just a lot more overall. Now, I'm gonna let these guys sit for about 30 minutes, and I'm gonna come back to it and see how they stabilize. I'm gonna see if they're able to hold their volume, their foam, are they gonna liquefy? I'm gonna see. So it's been an hour. I know I said that I was gonna let it sit for 30 minutes, but I came back 30 minutes and it didn't look like much has changed. So I wanted to give it more time. So instead I let it sit for an hour. Now, it really does show that it has sink, especially the control that had only water. Orange still kept its peak, but you can tell it's still sank around the sides. Vinegar, on the other hand, looks like it held its shape pretty good. I don't really notice much sinking, or the volume looks relatively the same. But these two, definitely the control, I do see sinkage. It has been more, less peaky. And then I shook the bowl. I wanted to see its stability. And as you can tell, it it let go of the bowl. It's not sticking to the bowl anymore, which indicates that the liquid has formed on the bottom of the foam. Now with orange juice, if I shake it, yes, you can tell that it's not sticking to the bowl as well, which also indicates that water or liquid started foaming at the bottom as well. So the stability is not as good as before. Now vinegar. Vinegar really holds its shape well. I mean, it, it, does, it doesn't even budge, hardly budging at all. I don't see anything. No liquid, still holding onto the bowl. Still very good. This shows that vinegar or adding acid to your egg white when you're whipping it really does help create a more stable form. And even with time, it still held its structure, its volume and stability very well in comparison to orange that was lower acid, didn't have as much acid as um, the vinegar, but definitely way better than the control where the control only had water. So. Definitely, if you do want to make, you know, meringues or bake cakes or make some kind of baked goods that contains um, more eggs and you want to make it more fluffy and airy, I would suggest adding, or definitely adding acid, either cream of tartare, lemon juice, or vinegar to help create a more, a more voluminous and stabilized foam. I'm going to step back. I'm gonna put it together, I'm gonna step back so you guys can have a better idea. I mean, it's the same, this is the lowest, medium, high, but yes, vinegar held this shape very good. I'm very impressed. So, that pretty much concludes my experiment. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and bye, guys.